I'm here in West Texas chasing Audad, a species originally from North Africa. While thoughts of Texas might bring images of white tails and brush country, West Texas broke the mold as rugged Grand Canyon-like features are carved into the landscape, providing a perfect home for this incredible animal to flourish. So our strategy here is gonna be a little bit of what I like to call sneak and peek. We're just gonna pop over each little drainage and peek in there and see what we can see. There's a lot of good habitat, some big cliffs and, and bands of rock formations where the sheep really like to be. So pop over every new canyon, look in there, and then move to the next one until we figure out where they are. Where they're from, you know, the Sudan, Chad, there's areas that are primarily big deserts, very little water sources. So they're gaining all their water from the plants that they're eating and the succulents that they're eating. They don't actually have to go to water every day. So they can go a long time between going to some water source. That's how they can live in these really arid, dry environments. This country is very steep and inaccessible, so it's going to be a game of finding an outad where I can get to it because you could see them all day, you could maybe shoot across, but if you can't retrieve it, it doesn't matter. There's a big ram by himself up on this ridge. I might be able to get below that cliff he's on, but I'm just worried that if I shot him where he is now, he's 325 yards, he'd just fall off and not be retrievable. There's a lot of country that you get to it, about 15 foot cliff, or 30 foot cliff, or in this case, 100 to 1,000 foot cliff. great spot for a shot so just got over here to try to find a better shot <clears throat> but he's going the wrong way this area i'm in with its steep arid canyons didn't always look like this over thousands of years, rivers carved down through the landscape, creating the rugged cliffs that surround me. What was once probably a lush forest and heavily wooded has succumbed to the heat, replaced by desert brush, succulents, and cactus. The landscape of West Texas has changed dramatically over the course of history. Not just the climate and topography, but the animals and people that have called it home. Toward the end of the last ice age, during the Paleo-Indian period, nomadic indigenous people traveled through here, hunting, possibly for a stretch of a couple thousand years. That's almost inconceivable in our minds as we now look at a vastly different landscape than what they saw in the same area so long ago. These are some pretty incredible petroglyphs here. You look at them, you just kind of want to Think, what were they talking about? What were they trying to convey? You think about the people that lived here and now you look out of the cave and it definitely has changed. The landscape's changed over time. There's so many different things. Trees and the forest and the river and everything's completely different. But the one thing that's the same is we're both hunting this landscape. Being a hunter, you really connect with this primal sense of this is where we came from. And there's something that you tap into when you're hunting that many people don't tap into when they're just going through their day-to-day -day life, when they're given food, when they don't understand that connection to nature and the world around us. This is where we came from. And so to see these petroglyphs is pretty incredible. You know, we're here now chasing an invasive species, but in some way, everything here is invasive. Um, even the people that painted these came from somewhere else. So. 
the landscape changes, things change, but we're all hunters. We're all gatherers. We've done this for thousands of years. It's pretty crazy. Despite a close encounter, I wasn't able to connect on a ram today. The one I did find wasn't in a place I could take him, and he gave me the slip when I tried to find a better angle for a shot. So the hunt continues. Pokey. I made my way into what I would consider more huntable country. This stuff's still steep and cliffy, but at least if I find a ram or an outdad here, I'll be able to retrieve it. Moving spots and three rams ran out, popped over the ridge. I just dropped on that area there. Hustled over to the side. And they popped up about 200 yards away. They started to walk off, got one to stop. <laughs> he just went down right here. It happens like that. You're looking and glassing and had a great stock opportunity. They got blown and then just Here's three rams. So, wow, thankful that that worked out. Let's go check them out. Well, I got my first out, Dad. This thing is awesome. Like, just big horns and super cool. I wasn't sure how it was gonna pan out, but I actually think these are the same ones I saw maybe two miles away last night. And we just came back over here and sure enough, they ran across the ridge in front of me. And when they dropped down in the canyon, just made a hustle and got into position. He popped back out the other side and was able to get a quick shot on him. <sighs> so cool. I think one thing that people think about Texas is not what we experience here. This country looks like you're in the Grand Canyon. It's steep, it's rugged. It's as rough as any sheep hunting I've ever done. And so to be able to experience this West Texas here is really awesome. Got to go and see those petroglyphs and think about people hunting here. And here we're hunting, we're successful. Harvested a ram. Obviously these animals were not here then, they were introduced, but the landscapes changed so much through nature and human interaction. But the one thing that hasn't changed is we're out here hunting, providing for ourselves. So cool. Such a cool animal. I'm really excited that worked out. Got him all loaded up, processed. I'm gonna pack him back to the vehicle and then cook up some steaks. That might be a little overweight. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty heavy. It's loaded down. Big animals, actually. Heading on down the road.